Hello everyone, Jake from Allocraft here, and I recently got my computer back, and I was like, you know what, I feel like doing a tutorial. So I'm going to do a tutorial on how to make a Steam Pipe server for any game you want. And I'll show you how to install Dark RP and stuff, and it'll be awesome. The so first, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to start off by going to Google. Then you're going to want to search Steam CMD. And then hit the top link. You can download the Windows zip file. I'm going to open it. And then here's the Steam CMD EXE. Drag it to a computer and then C. Hit continue. If you're not an administrator account, copy it to somewhere else. Now locate your Steam CMD file and where it is, create a new folder and call it Steam CMD. And drag the, the Steam CMD file into that folder. Now you're going to have to run it. So it'll download all of its contents. As you can see, uh, you might want to put it in a folder so it doesn't make it messy. Okay, I guess my Steam has... Steam keeps oh, fuck you. <laughs> Go away. Okay. Uh, Steam, do your thing. I will try to debug this. This doesn't usually happen. Okay, so it turns out that, uh, okay, so it turns out that I didn't have it in a folder that I had permission to, and I gotta give permission to see. So I put it in a folder on my desktop, Steam CMD, and I can start it up perfectly from here. I'll just log in really quick. Oops. Oops, uh, I'll pause this really quick. Okay, 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 so I'm back. And now we have Steam, uh, Steam running, Steam pipe running. We'll go here and get a list of commands that you could use. So once again, we're going to go back to Google, Steam CMD. And now you should be able to see a list of commands. Come on, load. No, I'll just copy the link. Oh, okay. There we go. So now we've logged in, and you're gonna want to log out of the regular Steam client. Now you're going to want to install an app. So go to your desktop or wherever you want to create the server as long as you have permission to it. Um, create a new folder called server. No, HL server. And then in the Steam we'll type in force underscore install underscore DIR and then put your path to it. Users owner desktop HL server. Now we're going to want to run the app update command and to get all of the application IDs, I'll put a link to this in the description here. You're going to want to get them here, but make sure not to install the client versions because that will mess up your server. 
see, we're going to have to click on server files. Here we go. Here's all the things that we want. So if you want to make a Left 4 Dead server, you're going to want to put 560 or whatever you want to make. In my case, I kind of want to make a Curious Mod server. Where is it? G. Hang on, let me find Curious Mod really quick. Here we go, 4020. So we're going to type app underscore update 4020. And now, uh, oh, build the install app, no subscription. Okay, I guess I don't own Gary's mod on that account. So we'll install a... Team Fortress 2 server. Let me find it really quick. Team Fortress 2 client content, materials content. Are these the server files? No, we need to go down to server files. TF2 dedicated server. Here it is. Maybe I can find Curious Mod down here. I don't think I'm going to be able to find it. Nope, can't find it. So it's 232250. Oops. Let's bring this up. And it's app underscore update 23. 2250 if you want to do a Team Fortress 2 server. Make sure you're getting the server files right here. And make sure it says that and then you choose from under it. But not here because these are demos. Just in this list between 90 and 244310. In this list right here. Choose the one for your operating system or the one that you want because it Half-Life dedicated server for Linux, and then there's Half-Life dedicated server for Windows. Not on all games. So, and now it's going to install it. Uh, what account am I signed into? I know I own that game. Fine. Two 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 eight sixty. I know I own that game. Yeah, there we go. Now it's going to download. Make sure you've own, you own the game and you've played it in the last week you're downloading the server in. Otherwise, it'll say no subscription. So yeah, uh, I'll be back once it's done. Okay, 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 okay. We're back, guys. Uh, it finished installing, took about an hour. Now if we go into our HL server folder, we should have this thing called SRCDS. Now what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to send it to desktop, create shortcut. And here it is. We can rename it to L4D2 server in my case because I made it left 4 dead 2. And then we right click on it, go to properties, and bam, here we go. This is what we want. Hit the space bar once, and then go to the link I will give you. Or actually, just go to Google. And then type in SRCDS shortcut command line. Just Google it. And then you should be able to find an example one.
like right here. Just get this one as an example. And then paste it there. Except you want the map to be like C1MO1 something. I'll go get a list of maps. Actually, we can just go to Left 4 Dead 2 Maps. C1M3 Mall, I guess. C1M3 underscore mall is our map. Okay, back to this. We can make the max players whatever you want. And yeah, basically everything works. But you delete C strike and put left for dead two. And then there you go. Your server should be all set up. You could hit apply, OK, and launch it from here. Bam. I will teach you how to port forward later, and everything should be good. So we'll do a test in a minute. Bam, server's up. Now I'm gonna pause, get left. Oh. To quit out of that, you type in quit. I don't have left for the to download it right now, but bam. We have a server set up. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.